During the events of Return of the Living Dead, we see the character Trash surrounded and presumably having her brains eaten by the newly risen Trioxin zombies. However, later on in the film, she is brought back as a zombie herself, lacking any kind of wounds on the head that should have been present, which made me wonder, was she even bitten at all? And if not, why did the zombies ignore her, and how was she even turned? My theory is that the answer is in the rain that has been mixed with the chemical Trioxin-245. After a reanimated corpse was exposed to the same chemical and was cremated, and the gas was released from its body into the clouds causing a storm, Trash complains multiple times about it burning her skin and gets a face full of it when it pours through a roof in the car that they use for shelter, possibly swallowing quite a bit of it. I believe that this may have started her infection, similar to Bert and Freddy, who were infected by the trioxin as a gas, since all it took was a few drops of rain to awaken a corpse. I find it likely because of this, that when Trash is lost and surrounded by zombies in the cemetery, right when they went to attack her, they were able to smell or somehow detect the trioxin in her system, meaning that like Bert and Freddy, she was likely already dead, but didn't know it. Passing out from the fear and buried in the trioxin-soaked mud, Trash was left by the zombies unharmed and allowed to turn fully. This would explain why there are no bites on Trash or any gaping holes in her skull after she comes back. But that's my theory. Do you agree? Or was Trash simply bitten and the wound was hidden by her hair or possibly camera tricks? Comment below with your own theory and be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as well as hitting the notification bell to be alerted whenever a new video is uploaded. And as always, I am JG Dart, and thanks for watching.